This was a dark day for those who light up. Five years ago, state lawmakers banned smoking from bars and restaurants. As News 13's John Lee tells us, health experts say it's been a huge success. Two large pizzas. This is the day the smoke cleared five years ago, when bartender Andrew Fogel had to adjust. I'm a smoker, so at the time, I guess, I didn't really like it, because upstairs you could smoke. On this date in 2010, North Carolina's ban on smoking in restaurants took effect. Now, Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria completely smoke-free. And customers like Eric Marks are eating out more often. I love it because I've never smoked. I was, really didn't like going out eating because of that. Alan Hall breathes easier but wants even more. I wish they would expand it and, and not allow them to even smoke on the streets, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the smell of it. It's irritating and gets on your clothes. The State Department of Health and Human Resources says the ban has been good for more than just laundry pointing out a 21% drop in heart attack cases at emergency rooms in the first year. Also saying because of the law, fewer children are smoking. But the fight over cigarettes, likely not over. Yeah, I got that one. That's pretty good. Electronic cigarettes might be the next target of some health advocates. Nick Humes of Candler says he enjoys the flavors. It's sort of like food. I like different types of food, so I like different types of uh, e-cigarette flavors. Have you smoked them in restaurants? I ask. I treat them as a cigarette, so I just don't smoke them around other people. The ban on smoking in eateries does not include vaping, which raises more questions and potentially more debate. I think they're better, but I don't think we're far enough along in it yet to know what that steam or whatever it is that's coming out of it. I don't think we know what's in it, just like we didn't know what cigarettes were in the beginning either, exactly all the bad stuff in it. So I'm not convinced with them yet, no. And despite initial fears about the smoking ban, the manager at Barley's says overall it's been good for business.